that you once said, Father, Father, not to abuse or entertain, Father, but that someone will be convicted or changed or enlightened on your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Give an honor to God, to Pastor Robinson and First Lady Robinson, to all these pastors, First Ladies. I want to acknowledge my pastor in his absence, Pastor Robert Dix. Uh, we had a funeral uh, today. Uh, one of our members' mothers dropped dead, just found dead in her home on Saturday. And she was only 44 years old. So they did have insurance. So you know, if you don't have insurance, you have to get what the funeral home gives you. So they did schedule at the same time as this service. But we thank God for him allowing me to even be able to come. Amen. Amen. John, the 19th chapter, the 26th and the 27th verse. All right. It reads, when Jesus therefore saw his mother mm -hmm. and the disciples standing by him whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, woman, behold thy son. Mm -hmm. Then saith he to the disciple, behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. Yeah. If I had to give this message a title, I would say, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. All right. <laughs> At some point or another, you may have used this familiar phrase, blood is thicker than water. Yeah. Right. You usually hear people say that when you want to make it perfectly clear that your blood-related relative right. is more important than anyone else. Right. Coming up, I was the only child, so I spent a lot of time at my cousin's house and of course, when I went to my cousin's house, they had their own friends. But I didn't care about that. When I went over there, I wanted them to know, I'm here now, so you have to play with me. I would tell them, blood is thicker than water. <laughs> but as I researched this phrase, I found out that this phrase has completely lost its original covenant-related meaning. The original meaning of blood is thicker than water is, the blood covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Or, my relationship with those that I am joined in covenant is to be considered of more value than my relationship with my brother or sister with whom I have shared the womb. As we read through the Bible, we find covenant after covenant. We know there was a covenant with God and Abraham, God and Noah. But it's until we get to this, to me, most amazing, mind-blowing, yet humbling experience of the cross, which to me, this is the ultimate covenant. The covenant to which all other covenants in the Bible point. You see, Jesus believed that blood is thicker than water. Those with whom he entered into covenant were more important than even those with whom he shared his mother's womb. I'm almost done. Did you know that there are so many lonely people in the world? You might be sitting by somebody lonely now. You know, it's saying to be a perfect how to come in and look like we got it all together. Yeah. So Say that, baby. You know, we look good. We look so sharp. You know, we come out with these smiles and we just know when to say thank you, Jesus. We know just when to say amen. All right. But somebody you're sitting by is probably lonely. Did you know that? Mary, Jesus' mother, was a lonely woman. Her husband, Joseph, had died. Jesus had brothers and sisters didn't even appreciate her commitment to Jesus nor his claims of being Messiah, not to mention the disgrace he brought to the family as he died like a criminal. Right. I searched the scriptures, I looked on Wikipedia, I looked on Google, right. and I couldn't even see the greatest sisters and brothers was even there right. at the crucifixion. Right. 